intelligence. The CBS 58 News at 5 starts right now. This is a response to a need that has asked for many, many times, and we are stepping up to the plate. Milwaukee police and city leaders address the tragic toll taken by reckless drivers. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Shepard. And I'm Mike Stralo and for Jessup Reisbeck. It seems like an almost unsolvable problem. How do you make people drive safely? The police department has just announced a new plan. Michelle Fiore joins us live from Milwaukee with the story. Michelle. That's right, Mike and Natalie. Police held their news conference right here along Capitol Drive because it's a street that's notorious for reckless drivers. The picture as they laid it out is that reckless driving causes Milwaukee's worst crashes. In fact, even last year during COVID, during 2020, when there were far less cars out on the roads, Milwaukee had a giant jump in fatalities due to reckless driving, 51% more in 2020 than in 2019 as far as fatalities go. A reckless driving continues to plague the city all over. An older woman said likely if you pass through the city on a daily basis, you're likely running across a reckless driver. This new task force from police aims to make a difference with education and enforcement, targeting behavior, not individuals, and it will be a high visibility enforcement throughout the city. We had an officer die from reckless driving in the 60s in the Capitol. We had an individual who was out teaching her son how to drive at 51st and Capitol. We're sick of it. This is not tolerated in this city. Now here's what you can do if you spot a reckless driver that is really just startling you on the roads. Make sure you pay attention to some details on it. Then you can go to this new website that the city has set up. It is mpdtsu.org. That stands for Milwaukee Police Department. A traffic safety unit and report what you saw. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Fiore. Back to you guys in the studio. A good 